six years old female with a refractory lymphoma, stage one aim, IPI zero. Um, she also had a, a thyroid goiter, and now she has a new enlargement of the celiac trunk nodes. Hi. Here Hi. we are. Hello. We have Seti. It's a pleasure to have her here. So it's a difficult case because the, the patient is very complicated for the anesthesiologist, so they are trying to keep her sedated. We are going to biopsy this mass. Yes. So please and explain us. Then. So we just for location-wise, you can see here is the aorta. And we follow this until we see, this is normally how we um, do our, our location localizing for pancreas. So off of the aorta, you see the celiac artery, the celiac mm -hmm. trunk, maybe Celia can show you that. And it runs right into this mass. Um, now the distinction is, is it a mass versus a pancreas? You can see right here, just to the side of the tissue is normal pancreas tissue. And very distinctly, we see this. And we know yeah, her history, that's the pancreas, correct? And, and then the here we know already from her history of okay. uh, lymphoma. So we we're going to do a fine needle biopsy. Um, it's part of the protocol here. So I'm going to try to, I'll describe later. Yeah. But this is a 22 gauge acquire needle. So we'll just turn this so I can see the... So it's a little difficult with the, the variation from here. The variation okay. in her breathing. We have to kind of we'll turn the flow on for okay. just a moment to see the okay. vessel. And then I use a little bit of a jab technique. So I'm gonna going to clear the stylet to sharpen the needle. And then Let's I see. use the elevator there. Mm -hmm. And now I will just thrust that yeah. in. You can yeah. see the needle clearly, the echogenic, and now we'll do a slow pull. So She's so going we will to remove slowly the stylus. Yep, if she can hold the okay. handle. So I'm Maybe trying to one. stay within, okay. within the tissue. Okay. And while I'm going back and forth, she's slowly pulling the stylet out. It's called the capillary method or the slow pull method. Ideally, I would try to fan, which means using either my elevator or my big wheel to try to target different areas of this node. And it's a little difficult in this situation because of my angle yes. and because of her breathing makes the lesion a little unstable. So she is all, almost out, so now I'm going to come out. Okay. Now we will show you how to proceed this uh, specimen. Okay. And uh, since uh, it's a diagnosis of lymphoma, we are trying to obtain material for uh, an histological diagnosis and also for ancillary techniques. So usually we put the material on uh, this, um, this box uh, and we will collect it into formalin. Go. This is the needle, you see? It's an acquired 22 gauge needle, as she's uh, told you, and it's very useful to obtain histological pieces. You see here is coming the clot. Mm -hmm. The lesion was a little bit necrotic, but there is also probably a clot yeah, with some tissue inside. And we will put this uh, into formalin. Is it, it's all? Okay. That's all. I think that we can give the line to another room. Sure. I just took a quick mention yes, that I, I might change the method if I look and see. Yeah. If you told me there was no tissue, there I might is, use I suction. There is tissue and we had uh, another pass before. Perfect. So okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anita. Very nice demonstration. Quick uh, and precise. Thank you. Thank you. you want, Sylvia, you want me to come out? Yes. Or one more pass? Come out? Come out.